tonight on Thrill of a Lifetime. A lifelong game show fanatic is let loose on The Price is Right. It's a game show and I'm crying. And a woman gets up close and personal with the naked chef, Jamie Oliver. So you're married? Kim Bondi. Hello and welcome to Price is Right at Kim's house. I'm filling in for Bob. A 33-year-old writer with a passion for pop culture. Her favorite TV show? You got it. The Price is Right. Hi, my name is Kim Bondi. And my thrill of a lifetime would be to go to The Price is Right. Um, I've always wanted to go. Ever since I was a little kid, my grandparents and I would watch the show and I wouldn't squeeze Bob too hard. Welcome to The Price is Right! The Price is Right is now in its 31st season, the longest running game show in TV history. We've seen Let's Make a Deal stop dealing, but The Price is Right has never been wrong. For me, The Price is Right has just been that sort of anchor. The set's the same, the colors, the format, and it's just, it's just kind of like, it's totally comfort food for me. And it's like, wow, I'm, you know, I'm seven. I'm at home watching uh, Price is Right with my Nana and Papa. She sat on my chair on the arm and she sat there for hours. And I'd read to her and we'd look at uh, Price is Right. She loved it. And uh, also, we just had a ball. Kim and her grandma still celebrate the Price is Right together. How many slices are there, please? Walter? Uh, five. Five? Jeez, lower. Oh, oh man, it's higher. Oh, oh I'm no. sorry. The and is you're the... <laughs> <laughs> My husband, Walter, uh, understands and respects <laughs> My love for The Price is Right. Um, he thinks it's kind of funny, because it is kind of funny. Well, you know, a couple of years ago, we sent away for those tickets and we couldn't go. That was a big disappointment. So uh, now this, this, this is actually going to make up for that. And, and hopefully life will get back to normal <laughs> afterwards. That would be terrific. Okay, so Nan, Nan's the winner. Oh my God. Just because I decided so. <laughs> The Price is Right has inspired Kim to surround herself with kitsch and character. My husband and I both like a lot of pop culture. We have things that aren't necessarily valuable to anybody else but us. We have a collection of snow globes, a fridge just littered with magnets. We just like a lot of old sort of, not junky stuff, but things that have character. Really, just to get to go to see something that you've grown up with and always loved, it would just be so much fun. And I didn't even have to think about it. It was like the first thing that came to my head. I would love to go to The Price is Right and just go and be in that environment. I think it would be such a kick. Kim, you're going to get a kick out of this. You're going to Hollywood, California. <laughs> So look, here we are, Hollywood, Grand View. Hmm? Eh? <laughs> Bob Barker. Oh, hello, Bob. Hello with your little TV. I'm going to see you tomorrow, baby. <laughs> Now, meet Jillian Seidler. She's 29 years old and works in the financial world. Until a few years ago, she needed a recipe to boil an egg. That's when she discovered the delights of the naked chef, Jamie Oliver. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm Steph. And I'm Carolyn. And it is our thrill of a lifetime to have our friend Jillian meet Jamie Oliver. Because she loves him. And if we can be part of it, all the better. That would be great. Jamie Oliver, the naked chef is a charming 27-year-old Brit who is loved by millions of culinary fans the world over. Though we're not sure if their love has anything to do with his cooking. Some people would give anything to spend a few precious moments in the kitchen or anywhere else with his talented hunk. I think what attracted me to Jamie in the first place was he was young. And I thought, if this young kid can do it, I can do it. Um, definitely the accent was a big motivator. He was so fun to watch. And 
um, all, all the energy and, and the smile on his face, he was really having a good time and, and made me think I could have a good time in the kitchen too. When we first met, Jillian could not cook at all. Uh, it took a while to find out because we did eat out a lot. Jamie Oliver has been um, a big influence on Jillian's cooking. Just his energy, uh, his, his style, his demeanor, and uh, Jillian has really taken to that. She's grown a lot. And then when she's happy, when she's in the kitchen, it's her kitchen. I, I have to stay out. I can't even put water on the stove. How is it? Very nice. Jillian's best friends have gathered secretly at Caroline's house. Thank she you. thinks that it's just going to be a night of TV and pizza with a girlfriend, mm -hmm. but she's enough. got a surprise coming. She's obsessed with the guy. She's got, have you seen the herbs growing in her garden? This is my basil plant, the sole survivor of my herb garden. I had about 12 varieties going. Here's to Joe. And to Jamie Oliver. I should probably go sit by the table. Okay, okay. Good luck. You guys here. hide here. I'll we go. will. I think the funny thing about the three of us are equally as excited as Jillian probably is when she realizes what's going to happen. Come in. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey, Hello. how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Why is everyone acting weird? No one's <laughs> acting weird. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jill. Jillian sees Jamie Oliver in the flesh. Which one's Jillian? Is it you? And what is Victor Newman from The Young and the Restless doing at The Price is Right? Jillian Seidler has just been told by her friends that she is going to meet the Why? naked chef himself, Jamie Oliver. Did you know about this? I did, I knew about it. I can't believe that my boyfriend Gord was in on this all along. I know she's Gaga over at Jamie and his cookbooks, and I think it's great for her. I think it's fun, and, and it helps me a lot because the food that you know she's learned to cook uh, is nice, and I appreciate it. So, did Gord have any last-minute advice? He uh, gave me a kiss at the door and said, make sure these lips don't touch the naked chefs. And I told him there was nothing to worry about, but um, you know, if the opportunity arises, who knows? <laughs> Meanwhile, uptown, the ever-adorable Jamie Oliver is signing autographs and doing cooking presentations for hundreds of admiring fans. Oh, I, can't, I really came to see Jamie because I love it. He's hot. Yeah, it's very cute, so... She signed my pants! Yeah. He's on my line and I'm jealous! <laughs> He's so young so and cute. cute. Oh, he yeah, he is <laughs> These women would be so jealous to know that we've arranged a private rendezvous for Jillian and Jamie at one of the city's finest restaurants. And her friends are there for support. Hi, guys. Hi, hey, Jill. Hey, excited to see you. A uh, very good to see you, <laughs> too. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, to walk. I have a seat. My knee's knocking. Would you like a drink? <laughs> I'd love a drink, please. Well, we knew Jill had no idea what was really in store for her, so um, we were really anxious to find out what she was going to say, what she was going to do. What are you going to ask? Oh, you guys have to help me out. <laughs> I was actually really looking for Jill's reaction. I wanted to see what she was going to do. I can't even hold my drink! Oh. How can I do How are you doing? You must be here. Where's Jillian? Hi. Which one's Jillian? Is it you? That's me. Hi, babe. <laughs> How are you doing? What are you got here? Oh, thank you. I have um, raspberry cosmopolitan. Mm, I'll have one of those, please. <laughs> Cheers. How are you doing? It's all a blur the first couple seconds. I just remember that he took a sip of my drink before I even did, and I thought, my gosh, I just shared a drink with Jamie Oliver. Are you well? I'm doing okay. <laughs> cool, darling. So, you going to eat some food? Sure. I was thinking maybe we, we could, like, cook something together. Cook something with the naked chef? Uh-oh. What's she gonna <laughs> tell Gord? Just serve it up to your friends. Oh, yeah? And, you know, That's see what happens. Are you really gonna trust me in the kitchen? I hope so. It's a nice kitchen there. It blew me away. I thought, wow, this, um, this couldn't get much better than this. This is a thrill of a lifetime. Mm. Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, Kim is about to visit the TV show she's been watching since she was a kid. When we first got to the studios, going through the security guard, I mean, you've seen it, I've seen it on TV a million times. I don't know, in, uh, in, uh, in sitcoms or in, in movies or something, you see people going into CBS studios or a big uh, film studio. It's just so exciting to actually be that person going in there. And I saw all the people lining up and just saw, as soon as I saw the price tags, I just couldn't stand it and even care if, if the camera was on or whatever. Like, I just wanted to go and meet these people. These audience members are Kim's kind of people. I know, I know, I'm real. Yeah, I can imagine. I thought my t-shirt was good, but oh man, that's commitment. That's a dedicated fan. Oh my God. That TV is sacred. I know. You don't touch that TV. You do not. I could tell that we understand each other. You know, they, they want to come here as much as I did. Felt like I was going to a big family reunion, although I knew no one. You know, it's just like I'm going to see all these people that, and everyone was happy and huggy and yay, we're all here. Hi, Kim. Hi. I hear you need a number and a name. Oh my God, do I ever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God, thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> what are you? Um, I'm a Marine. You're a Marine? Yes. You're a Marine, he's a Marine! <laughs> okay, come on. But Kim has one thing that the other fans envy, an all-access backstage pass. Can she handle it? When I got to walk around and see all of the different games, and I saw the cliffhanger, and it's just like, it's just so weird being there, and you know, I can touch it. It's just something that you've seen on TV so many times. It's like, this is it, and this is where everyone screams. And, and then the Plinko machine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it was breathtaking. It was like seeing a painting for me. <laughs> P L I N K O and Plinko is my name. Oh. <laughs> I feel all teary eyed. <laughs> oh my god, there's a prop there, and then you see the prizes for the show, and you see all the sets, and it's just like, oh my god, it's like seeing all the little pieces of the puzzle. I'm not touching anything, I promise. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm crying. It's a game show, and I'm crying. You understand, don't you? <laughs> Oh man, sound effect, punch a bunch, showdown. So now we, we know what games are gonna go on today. Here we go, gonna spin that wheel. I was always so convinced that I could spin that wheel without any effort whatsoever, and it's hard. It's not that easy, but I did it, and I, you know, I, I could still be there spinning the wheel. I'd be happy. I could spin that wheel for days. Love it. <laughs> Now, Kim gets to be a real live stand-in. Okay, we're gonna rehearse this just like we would on the show, okay? Right, okay. And you're gonna, I'm gonna be Bob, you're gonna be the contestant. Okay. The goal of the grocery game is to have a grocery bill between 20 and 21 dollars. You know how to play? Oh yeah. All right, yeah. where do you wanna start? Garlic pills. How many of those? Mm, two. Two, okay, each garlic pill is 8.99. How much is two for I'm gonna do, let's see, one poppycock. Okay, one poppycock. Each poppycock is $1.99. So what do you think is $1.30? Campbell's so Healthy Request Tomato. How many? Just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how she did. $1.19. Oh! Sorry. Six cents! He holds us. Yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. Hey, Kim, are you ready? Here's the man you've always wanted to scream your name. Rod Roddy is not only the co-host and the voice of the show, he's also kind of a TV legend. How are you? <laughs> it's so good to see you. It's so exciting How to meet you? you. Oh, thank you so much. I see you're ready to play. Well, I'm, I'm here. I'm here, that's all. Look Come at on. this shirt. Is this any better? No, that's all this I is, love it. This is better, isn't it? Oh, that's great. Somehow? That's so Does great. Does it shine enough? My God. Does it work? <gasps> I, I knew you were coming, and, and I knew that you fancied my jacket, so I got you a matching bow tie oh. for you to take back with you. Oh, my God. I can't even stand it. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so Have much, Have a good Rob. time. We'll Thank see you. We'll see you in the audience, Absolutely. Okay? Have a great show. All right. Love you. Take Thank care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Kim's going to take her place in the audience. But another thrill is about to take her by surprise. Coming up, Jillian and Jamie get cooking. So you married? <laughs> Not quite. And later, Kim gets two surprises for the price of one. 
Jillian has already realized her thrill of meeting the naked chef, but that's just the appetizer. I honestly thought that I was going to meet him for five minutes. I really thought that we were going to go to the restaurant, have a drink, and that was it. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do a beautiful little uh, monkfish dish. Okay. I'm going to cook it in front of your mates. Right. All right. I'm going to try and get you to do as much as possible. I was thinking, my gosh, I, I hope I don't do anything wrong in the kitchen. I hope I don't drop a knife or break anything. We got into the kitchen, and uh, I saw the girls on the other side of the bar, and uh, I knew it was going to be okay. I knew it was just, I thought, Jill, just, when are you going to get the chance to do this again? Just have a laugh, have a good time, and uh, the girls are here to help you and, and get you through. We get, get some uh, basil, yep. and just rip it up. Be, you can be really aggressive with it, and just, just pound it to a right. paste. Does, does this girl cook for you, you guys? Yes. She does. She does. She's been practicing with your book. It was really neat to see him in person and right there in front of us cooking. It was like our own personal TV cooking show. The thing is, what's going to happen is as that cooks, it's going to cook into the fish. And he was great. He was really friendly and personable and very warm. Kept calling her dear and sweet pea, and it was really funny. So you're married? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Boyfriend? Yeah. What's he like? Is he a good man? Oh, yeah. Where is he then? Or is this a girly thing? <laughs> This is the girl. girl's afternoon. Does he cook for you? Um... No. <laughs> Gord is my boyfriend, and I feel that this afternoon I might have cut him up a little bit. He may not be a good cook, but he's a great guy. Yeah. I remember trying to feed my wife rabbit, and I just had to lie and tell her it was chicken. <laughs> She's been eating rabbit for, like, years, and she's like, oh, I'll never, ever eat rabbit. She's been eating it for, like, two years. <laughs> He was what I envisioned him to be. He made me feel so comfortable. He was so genuine and made me feel so relaxed, so funny. Just, I can't believe how stressed I'd been about what I was going to say to him. What was I going to ask him? Looking back, there was no need for that at all. I could have just gone into this cold and, and had a great time. Fish doesn't need that much cooking, yeah? Are you ready, girls? Yes. If I had seen ahead of time what it was going to be, I would never have thought that, that I could do that. It's, it's easy when you're doing it with Jamie Oliver. <laughs> nice <Yeah>. job. <laughs> it was the greatest thing to have cooked with Jamie. And uh, in front of my girls, it was so much fun. Thank you, sir. This is a kind of kitchen I like. Cheers. 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 You're so polite, and I'm just like, this. Yeah, great. Where's, where's the pine glass? <laughs> Cheers, darling. Good to see you. Thank you so well much. Cheers. Right, gorgeous. We're doing the off -ski. Knowing that I got to spend an hour with him, cooking with him, um, was just awesome. It's one of the most fun days I've ever had. Coming up, Bob calls Kim up on stage. And Kim is up there. <laughs> Kim is just loving TV land, so we thought it would be fun to see how she handles a romantic encounter with her favorite soap star, Eric Braden. Oh my god, that's crazy! That's right, the legendary Victor Newman of The Young and the Restless. I'm here to see Price is Right from Thrill of a Lifetime, mm -hmm. and then I heard that you're in the next studio. Oh, I've got to get a picture for this. Look at you, you're so we're, fit. We're, we're engaged. Me it. and Victor. <laughs> well, it's my Thrill of a Lifetime to be here in the backstages of CBS. <laughs> Meet this lovely lady from Toronto. <laughs> and my regards to all of you, my love to all of you. And one day I'll be up there again. Okay? Be cool. Bye. You're awesome. Here's something even more awesome, Kim. It's showtime. Nothing compared to that. Nothing at all. Because it really was like we were we all had regressed back like 20 years. We're all little kids because whatever Rod was going to tell us to do, we were all waiting and willing and, yeah, you want us to scream now? We'll scream. Bob Barker. Um, yeah, I cried then too. <laughs> so bad. And he just, you know, strolls on out. I just love him. I just love him. 
like this is his show, you know? Like what would the prices right be without Bob Barker? Kim may not be a contestant, but she is going to be asked to come on down. And I honestly, like I was sitting at the end of my seat because I was nervous that he's going to call me up. And they have brought her to the prices right, and Kim come up there. When I grabbed him around, you know, his torso, and like he just saved me from a volcano or something. And it was like, you know, this is Bob. I'm not letting you go. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited. All right. <laughs> How long have you been watching the show? Uh, well, I'm 32, and it's been on since 30, 31, so 31. You've been watching <laughs> all, all the time yeah, we've been on the me end. and my grandma, for sure. You are a loyal friend and true. Absolutely. And this is a perfect shirt for a gift that I have for you. Oh. Let's have it, Claudia. We have a Plinko <laughs> chip that's actually been used on The Price is Right for <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. But now, isn't she a loyal friend and true, ladies and gentlemen? Right Thank you so Thank much. You. Pleasure meeting you. My pleasure. Man, oh man, I, yeah, I never ever would have guessed this would be this fun. And I'm just so overwhelmed with joy how much fun this day was. The, this whole experience has just been crazy. Crazy. <laughs> crazy fun. Tell us your thrill, and we will make it happen. Go to thrillofalifetime.ca. It's always better without a bottle of water. Do you have animals, though. too? No, no, no. no. I'm never at home to take care of them. Well, that makes we sense. Shouldn't, you, shouldn't have, you shouldn't have animals if you're not at home to yeah, take care of them. Yeah, absolutely. Don't leave your animals out there by themselves. They get yeah. lonely. Yeah, and they can't drive very well. And they well. can't drive, yeah. no. And they bark when the neighbors come in.